<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fine Springs Area of Tramway. My name is Gil. I'll be your tram car operator today. Now, the tram car has a rotating floor. It's going to go around a couple times during our trip up the mountain. Now, the walls, windows, and handrails, they don't move with the floor. When you're hanging onto a handrail next to a window, just slide your hand to the left. You're going to be all right. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And in this week, we found some footage from earlier this year that we wanted to share with you. It's from our trip to Palm Springs, and we went to the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. So this video is about our ride up the mountain and uh, what you can do once you reach the top. So enjoy the video, and uh, we'll be back on the other side. Well, today we are going to head up a mountain. We are at Palm Springs Aerial Tram and we're going to take the tram up to the top of the mountain. I think it's over 8,000 feet. It's something that uh, we have wanted to do. We've been to Palm Springs once before and didn't get the opportunity to do this so we're back here and we're going to try to do it this time. Now we have to get in line and wait for a bus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final call for the 148 tram car. Get 148 tickets. Do not wait in line or stand in the lobby. Come directly to the boarding gate. for the 148 tram. Tramway. My name is Gil. I'll be your tram car operator today. Now, the tram car has a rotating floor. It's going to go around a couple times during our trip up the mountain. Now, the walls, windows, and handrails, they don't move with the floor. When you're hanging onto a handrail next to a window, just slide your hand to the left. You're going to be all right. We're going to be going over five large towers today. Every time we go over a tower, the car is going to swing. Hang on. Enjoy the ride. We're going to start that floor rotation right now. Here we go. Yeah, the ride up the mountain is really the attraction here. Those tramway cars, the floor on them turns, so you get great views as you're going up the mountain. And when you hit those towers, you go, wee! Yeah, the um, tram car kind of rides back and forth, which is, you know, a little bit unsettling, but, you know, not too bad. It just adds to the fun of the ride. Exactly, exactly. And then once you get to the top of the mountain, you do have a lot of options of things to do. We went in January, so it was winter up there, so it's probably one of the few places in Southern California that you can see snow. Right. And we did have our winter coats on, as you can tell, and uh, it, was, it was quite chilly and quite breezy. Alright everyone, if 
you look over here on my right, you're gonna see the other tram car come down. Don't forget to wave, here it comes. The cars rotate so you get the view of everything as you're coming up. Mm -hmm. um, the wait was probably the worst. I mean, we, had wow. a, we had a two hour wait when we yeah. got here at wow. one o'clock, so it's three o'clock by the time we got up here. Right, but you know, it went by pretty quickly. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't too, too. Yeah, I think it's because we're here on the week after New Year's. And yeah. there's still some people here, you know, vacationing for the year, for the end of the year or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think the crowds are a little bit higher. Right. I'm glad we didn't come over the weekend. Well, yeah. Awful. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was a neat experience. So, so now we're eating. There's two restaurants at the top of the mountain. So we're at Peaks. Peaks. I think that's what it's called. It's called Peaks. Something. Yeah. Peaks. But yeah. you get a nice table with you know all window views. It's really kind of cool. Yeah, it's a fancier restaurant. Um, there is a little cafe with just snacks, pizza. Uh, yeah, tenders, I I'd be willing to bet we, we would have not spent that much more to come here than the other. So it's nice to sit down. 
Yeah. Very cool. But it's a real fun ride, and when you get to the top of the mountain, there are hiking trails that you can take. Um, there are two restaurants up there. One's a, more of a cafe type restaurant, and the other one is a sit down restaurant, which we went to. Yes, and so we had a nice meal, and after we ate, we came, came outside and explored a little bit. Yeah, we took in the views of Palm Springs in the Coachella Valley, and unfortunately we went you know, at a time of the year where the days get kind of short, and so it was starting to get dark and we had to make our way back down. Yes, and the, the last tram is about 9.30, so you want to be sure that you're on it, otherwise you'll end up having to camp at the top of the mountain, which in the weather we were in, I don't think it would be re recommended. So you right. want to be sure to get the last tram of the day. There's Palm Springs Valley down below. Over here you can see all the wind turbines. Surrounding mountains. <coughs> they say on a clear day you can see 175 miles from up here. Including about 25 miles from here would be the Salton Sea, I think, in that direction. Oh no, you're good. Thank you. Yeah. The view. It's cold. The view is cold. Yeah. The air is cold. This is our winter. I know. It's really spectacular up here. The view. Yes. The mountains. Okay. Yeah, you can go. Back inside? Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, what should they do, Diane? Please give it a big thumbs up, and remember, if you haven't already, we would really appreciate you subscribing to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you come along with our adventures. So, until... Oh, one more thing. Um, we are at home, and as you can tell, uh, my hair is finally starting to grow. <laughs> it is a little bit short still, but hopefully within the next year or so, you know, it will be at a good length. Although I have to say, for all you ladies out there, this is, uh, it, it's not much maintenance, not sure about the color, but that may come later, but it's very easy to take care of. So I'm really honestly debating. I want it to get a little bit longer and a little bit thicker, but you know, it's just so easy to take care of. Put a comment in there. Do you like Diane's hair? Let us know. Or also, if you have done this tram ride and your thoughts about the tram ride. Right, yeah, comment about that too. See you guys. Bye. Let's not waste time, we'll take this slow. We've got